So currently working as a developer coordinator in a GDFT LBC. So in today's session we are going to discuss about the introduction of the Dart and Flutter. So what is Dart and what is Flutter? So why to use, to use the Flutter and Dart? So we are going to discuss in this session. So first of all, what is Dart? So Dart is a client optimized language which is used for developing fast apps on any platform. So it is a, a, a objective oriented language. So this is related to OOPS concept and uh, it consists of different types of classes, interfaces and method overloading, etc. So this Dart is mainly used for building of a Flutter application. So and Dart is better for developing the front end of part in the Flutter application. Okay. This uh, Dart is also used for web development, not only for app. For web applications. So next, uh, these are the sample programs of the Dart. So here you can see the void main and the parent hello world. And uh, another program void main in case and print So when you're writing a program in the Dart language, the void main is mandatory. So without void main, uh, the program will not be executed. So you may work on to the others. Okay. So these programs will be executed in this session. So next, uh, introduction to Flutter. So what is Flutter? Why we use Flutter? So Flutter is a mobile. Uh, Flutter is a platform which will create the mobile applications in both iOS and Android. So okay, if you uh, generally without Flutter, we want to develop an app application. Okay. To develop an app, you, uh, there are two platforms. One is platform and another one is iOS platform. So to develop an app in Android platform, you have to use Java and Kotlin languages. For iOS, you have to use your shift languages. So by using this Flutter, uh, only single code base. With only single code base, we can release uh, two platform apps with only single code. Okay. Uh, by this, what will happen means the developer can uh, reduce the time complexity in uh, uh, developing the two platform apps accordingly. Okay, this Flutter is uh, mainly developed by the Google. Okay, the, with the introducing platform of cross-platform development named by Flutter. Okay, next, what is Flutter actually? The Flutter is a UI toolkit which is used for building fast and beautiful native applications in both. Uh, uh, Android and iOS. So it is single code base language where you can build both Android apps and iOS apps. And it is free and open source for everyone. Uh, this Flutter can be used by many of the users for free and it's open source and it's uh, user friendly. Okay. And this Flutter is mainly developed by Google and managed by EC and the standards. Okay. Next, Dart is uh, programming language which is used for building of the Flutter app application. Okay, without that, uh, we cannot build the Flutter application because the uh, Dart language plays main role in the Flutter. Okay, next, why Flutter uses Dart? Why Flutter uses Dart? Why, uh, why not other programming languages? So, Flutter uses Dart programming language because Dart is an object oriented language. So, Dart is an OOPS uh, related to OOPS language. And it consists of uh, different types of features like garbage collection, interfaces, classes, method overloadings, etc. And it has high performance and uh, high APIs and uh, different types of toolkits. Okay, it, so because of these features, it can build the app applications in both iOS and Android. And another thing, main Flutter advantage is hot reload. So hot reload makes a efficient choice of an app development. So hot reload is an uh, particular feature in this uh, flutter it's some functionality so okay we will discuss about the hot reload in the further sessions so next coming to advantages of flutter so for any software when you compare the softwares there will be advantages and disadvantages so first we overcome the advantages of flutter so what are these advantages so this flutter is an app development uh, platform where it can develop apps right so it can process the extreme fast development by using the hot trigger feature. So by using hot trigger feature, it can develop the app very fast. Okay. 
Next, not only development, it will give smooth and uh, user interface uh, program. So without any hangs or cuts. So smooth uh, interface will be given to the user. Next, Flutter reduces the time. And so Flutter reduces the and the developer can write a single code to release both iOS and Android apps. Right, it may save the time for the developer. Next. It has an excellent user interface because it is used. Okay, the Flutter uses the high uh, tools, high development APIs, next many features like interfaces, classes, etc. So due to this, the Flutter is mainly uh, advantage. Okay, this is the main advantage. First, year. next disadvantage of Flutter. So it provides very really limited access to SDK libraries. Okay, SDK access is very less and functionality is. Not to be used much by the developer. So, if the SDK libraries are less access, the functionalities are also being uh, less for the developer to create a mobile application. Okay. And the second disadvantage of Flutter is Flutter app does not support browser. We cannot use the Flutter app uh, in Chrome browser or Firefox or some Opera. We cannot use the Flutter app in the browser. It only supported in Android and iOS applications for platform. Okay. It uses uh, Flutter uses dark programming language, right, for creating the Flutter. So, developer should update for the new technologies of the dark day by day because uh, uh, without that, the Flutter app we cannot create, right? So, the developer should uh, learn all the new technologies from the dark programming language. Okay, next, uh, this is the features of the Flutter. So, it consists of hot reload, widgets, minimal code, cross platform, and it's open source also. It's open source too uh, for free. And uh, accessible native features and SDKs. It consists of some features and SDKs. And the uh, hot reload feature is an uh, awesome feature for the Flutter. It's type of functionality uh, we can discuss in further session, right? Next, uh, widgets are also plays a main important role we are going to discuss in this uh, session. Next. What is hot reload in Flutter? So what is hot reload means it is a great functionality present in a Flutter. So it plays a major role and it's a great functionality. In all our elements and functionalities, the hot reload is greatest one. Okay, it is easiest and fastest function. So it is very easy and the fastest function which helps for clearing the uh, fixing the bugs and creating UIs, etc. And for doing all this, it takes approximately one second to perform a functionality or more than that. Okay, but approximately one second. Okay. But if hot reload does not destroy the preserved state, in hot reload, it will not destroy any preserved state. Okay. But hot reload cannot use when app is get killed. After damaging the app, we cannot use the hot reload for hot reload functionality in the flutter. So, okay. Next, uh, hot restart flutter. So there are two types, hot reload flutter and hot restart flutter. So hot restart flutter is slightly different compared to the hot reload. So there are some slight similarities between them. It is faster compared to the re full restart function. So when we compare the full restart function, it is uh, much more faster. Hot restart flutter is much more faster. It destroys the preserved state where hot reload does not destroy Preserved state, but here hot restart will destroy the preserved state of the app and code gets fully compiled. Okay, so by destroying the preserved state, the code will get fully compiled and starts from default state. Okay, so it takes more time as compared to the hot reload. So, compared to hot reload, it takes some more time. Okay, next, uh, widgets in Flutter. So, what is meant by widgets? So, let us take uh, this Flutter image. Uh, Flutter image is there now. So this Flutter image, uh, let us take it as a screen. Okay. What we are doing uh, a Flutter logo. So Flutter logo is an element. So every element which is present in a screen and every element is known as a widget. Okay. This uh, screen uh, consists of a Flutter logo. This Flutter logo is one type of a widget. Okay. So I think uh, we got uh, what is a widget, right? Okay, next category of widgets. There are 14 categories uh, where the widgets are divided. So the 14 categories are accessibility, animation and motion, assets, images and icons, async, basic, uh, 
input interaction models, layout, material components, painting and effects, scrolling, styling and text. So these are some widgets which you are going to um, use in the Flutter applications like animations and motions, like uh, adding images and icons, next layout, next painting and effects, next scrolling effects, styling, like uh, you all know idea about uh, HTML and CSS, right? Uh, styling, where we use the CSS for styling, right? So styling, text, etc. So next, uh, there are two types of widgets in Flutter. So there are uh, stateless widget and the stateful widget. Okay, uh, stateless widget and stateful widget are the two types which are uh, present in the widget and which have some separate programs uh, which we have to be in view. Okay, I will discuss uh, during the Flutter session. Uh, make sure uh, remember it. Stateless widget and stateful widget. We can uh, discuss it there later. And next, coming to this. Observe this. It is a raw figure for the uh, mobile screen application so let us assume uh, this as a mobile screen okay this has a mobile screen and this mobile screen flowchart like may like a flowchart okay first of all my root so my app my app is a root application where you create the app and under that it consists of uh, some materials okay materials and that material can access and the home page is being created and in that home page we consist of app bar center and text so what is this app bar what is the center and what is this text i am going to show you now so this is the end of the presentation but now i will show you the how uh, what are the samples of uh, uh, flutter app application and how we okay just come to the flutter.dev this is the official website okay so first of all uh, come to the documents okay uh, under documents, uh, click on uh, samples and tutorials. So here you can see sample apps on GitHub, right? So click here. Uh, you may open this like uh, this type of screen. Okay. Now I told you that I will show you the app bar and the center text, right? So coming to that one, I am going to show you this here. So this is the output. So here testing sample is the app bar name. Okay, these are the list of items uh, which are being uh, held here, but this is not the basic structural program of the Flutter. For an example, I am showing this. This is the testing sample is the app bar, and this is the contents like a uh, text or uh, animations or I mean logos, icons, etc. Okay, these are some Flutter samples. So to see the Flutter samples, you can simply visit this. Uh, flutter.github.io slash samples. So here you can see different types of Flutters. So keeping aside of Flutter, now first we have to discuss about Dart. So what is Dart and why Dart is used in Flutter? So Dart, uh, official website is dart.dev. Okay, uh, please visit this website. So you can get some idea about this Dart, okay. So here you can see paint your UI to a life and with the Dart VM instant hot reload, okay. So this is the official page and Dart is a client optimized language for fast apps on any platform and it is supported by Google and it's free and open source, right? Next, uh, Dart is optimized for UI uh, and productive development and fast on any platform. Okay, it is fast on all platforms. Next, it is productive development and it is mainly optimized for UI development. Okay, so these are some glimpses uh, according to the optimized for UI. Next, uh, productive development and fast on all platforms, right? Okay. Next, uh, this is the Dart tag. So you may all heard about the online compilers for Java, C, etc., right? So this is the online compiler for the Dart programming language. So we'll call it as a Dart pad. Okay. So how to run the Dart pad and how to execute the programs here? Okay. So to execute programs, we have two methods. One is online method and another one is offline method. First, we have to discuss about the online and the next we will discuss about offline. Okay. So to execute the Dartpad programs, just click here simply on this arrow mark, full screen, right? So you will be redirected to the next screen. And here you can see install SDK, format, reset, and run. And left side where you will write the program and here right side console is there. Now. So here you can get the output of the particular program. Now, just uh, copy this sample program, which we have discussed, right? Uh, 
we have discussed this program. Yeah, void main print hello world and void main in TA is equal to two, right? These two programs we will execute now in online compiler and also in offline compiler too. Okay, just type void main. Void main is a mandatory in there. Okay, void main is a mandatory. Without void main, no program is being executed. So now print and hello world. So what will be the output? Now there is uh, no requirement to save the file and anything. It will be automatically save the file. And after typing, just run. Just click on run so that the output will be appeared in the right side of this. Yeah, you got it right. Hello world. So this is the output for the particular program which we used here. And next program is void main in T, right? So click on that and remove this printf. Now in T A is equal to let it be two and int b is equal to let it be 30. Okay, uh, even the three, but take it as 30. And now print. So now a plus b. We have to add this both. Not only a plus b, you can do anything a minus b or anything. Okay. I mean, uh, yeah. So remove this uh, braces. Now execute this. So after executing, we get getting the output as a 32. Okay, you can also do subtraction, multiplication, anything. It's up to you. So this is the online compiler of the data. So now what if you want to execute these same programs in offline? So for that, you have to install SDK, uh, .SDK. So here you have to choose uh, your uh, capability like Windows, Linux, or Mac OS. But now I suggest to execute the programs in uh, VS Code. So just simply go to uh, browser and uh, type VS Code. So you install, you make sure to install this VS Code according to your compatible version of your computer. Okay, so install as if it's Mac OS or Windows 64 or Linux. So download and make sure to set up the Visual Studio. I think uh, Visual Studio setup is not new for everyone. Uh, many of them are using. So okay, for first I will copy this code which you have executed here, right? I will copy this code and we will uh, execute this program in VS Code. Okay, first of all, make sure uh, to create one folder in desktop. So uh, Flutter or that you name it as for create a folder on desktop and uh, name it as Flutter. So in this session, so which we are going to do programs all we can uh, save in that folder, particular folder, right? Okay, so first of all, open Visual Studio Code. So open Visual Studio Code and uh, open a new folder. So these are the programs which you are going to execute. These are all the basic programs which I'm going to explain you in this session and also how to execute and what is the output I'm going to discuss here. So first of all, uh, what to do uh, in this uh, VS Code to execute uh, that programs. So first of all, come to the extensions and uh, search here for dot first of all search for dot so after searching that you will get here dot right so make sure to install the dot extension in your vs code not only that you also install flutter you also install flutter in your uh, laptop or uh, something pc okay make sure dot and flutter should be installed in your pc or a computer to run uh, this dart and flutter programs in vs code okay now i will create one folder so i will uh, open a folder so i created a folder in desktop called flutter so in that i am going to create a session one okay so this is the folder which i'm going to create and i will select the folder so now the folder will appear here so now in this folder i will create a new file so first of all create a new file here and give a program name so it may be add so add dot give extension name as dot because it's a dot programming language right so 
extension as dot and enter. So the dot project is being created. So file is being created, text document file. Now, same as it is paste the code which I have been executed in the online compiler, right? So I have pasted this program here and I am going to save it. So first of all, in VS Code, you have to set up the Visual Studio and you have to install the extensions of Dart and Flutter. And after that, you have to create a, a folder uh, somewhere in the desktop or on a path. And then you have to create this Dart extension file. Now, after pasting the code here, now come to the terminal. So under terminal, create, uh, open new terminal, right? So in the new terminal, you will uh, redirect it to this uh, folder. And in this folder, the execution will be completed. So for this, you have to, to complete the execution, you have to type dot space file name, add dot dot. So you have all been heard about uh, Java C file name dot Java. So I think we have been executed uh, this type of uh, programs since in the past. So as it is same, we have to type dot space file name dot dot and press enter. So simply you are getting uh, the output 32 here, right? So 32 is the output. So here you can uh, execute uh, these type of programs in this way. And this is how this is the way how to execute the programs. Now I will show some basic programs, okay, which I have been executed. So I have been saved them in that and uh, select folder. So okay. So from coming from first, these are the basic Dart program. So basic Dart program, I already have seen Hello World program, right? This is another basic Dart program. So here he is uh, telling that to void print integer. So integer means we all know numbers. Okay. So this is a um, declaration about the uh, program. So print the number is, and here dollar represents the string. So we are, we are going to discuss uh, this type uh, dollar sign and uh, uh, everything in uh, further sessions. So okay, the main thing is uh, void main, and uh, he have given a variable number is equal to zero seven. I given number as zero seven, and now I'm going to print this integer. So print integer number. So then how I will get uh, <coughs> this output? So I'm going to new terminal. Now I will execute this. So dot uh, dot space basic dot dot. Okay. So this is the output, the number is seven. So the number is seven we have given here, right? Uh, so this will be uh, executed also here. And here, right side, you are going to see PowerShell, 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 right? This PowerShell is mainly uh, terminal which is going to execute these programs. And this PowerShell is mainly obtained from this, uh, installing these extensions like the Dart and Flutter, okay? So make sure uh, without that, you, without Dart and Flutter extension, you cannot execute the programs in VS Code. Okay, this is the basic Dart program. And another thing is basic uh, two. So this is Hello World, yeah, right? Uh, we have already executed in online terminal, right? So for every new program, you have to uh, click every new terminal. Okay, you have to create new terminal. For every new program, you have to create new terminal. For same program, same terminal. Uh, for another program, same terminal is not applicable, okay? So dot slash basic two dot dot. Okay. Now enter. So you can see the output hello world. Okay. So this is the basic dot to program. Next to Boolean, you have already idea about uh, Boolean uh, true or false, right? If it's uh, true, if it's equal, then uh, print true. If it's not equal, print false. So this is um, the execution part of this. And next collection dot. So this is the collection of uh, dot and it consists of list of strings, set of strings, and map of uh, strings, okay. So list of strings are consist of uh, one, two, and three. Set of strings are uh, in the form of sets, okay. And it consists uh, final, a map of strings to int, okay, one, two, three. You okay, know, we have to print a list of string, a set of string, and a map of string. Now, what will be the output? So new terminal and dot, Collection. But, but. So you have printed right one, two, three, and a set of one, two, three, and set of one, two, three. Okay, this is the output of the collections. Next, list dot. 
so here we are going to see the list printing the list okay not only four or five you can add any much numbers okay six comma seven okay it's your wish okay i have added the most set right okay comma six comma seven okay you can add as your wish so now go to the terminal and the new terminal now add a dot list dot dot so okay okay i didn't save yet yeah okay sorry i have to save right after saving click here dot list dot dot so one two three four five six seven okay this is the output for the particular lists these are all basic programs to get an idea of what is dot and how it's being executed so these are only basics okay not uh, much depth next uh, this is a list type 2 program and here you can uh, see car boat plane these are all strings here you saw about uh, numbers right integer type and here you are going to see uh, strings so again we are going to execute this new terminal and type as a dot list two dot dot now you are getting car boat and plane okay you got the output right next coming to list type of three here you can just uh, strings in an order way like here you see list one two three four five six are in order and here also list three all the words are being in order okay so we can also add uh, how much you want we can add it's uh, up to you and go to the terminal and uh, click on new terminal now dot space list three dot dot so now you got the output right home furniture plants outlet okay so this is up to the lists concept in the dot now maps now what are maps so here uh, what is mapping uh, first and patrick second and uh, uh, truth fifth and golden rings so here you can uh, see the values okay key values for this so when you execute this the output will be in this format so dot space maps dot dot yeah. so this is the output right five uh, first uh, partridge second uh, truth levados fifth uh, golden ring and second helium so this is the output next uh, name parameters so here we have given string first name string last name and string middle name so this dollar symbol i told you right a string this is a type of string value and we told uh, given that we have to print the first name middle name and last name okay here in the first name place we given a dash and that reason and middle name is who okay john uh, smith and who now what will be the output we are going to see now just uh, click on terminal new terminal now dot space name named para named para dot dot so here you saw that john who smith okay here in the second one we mentioned that middle name as who but here smith is the second one but middle name has printed first and smith next okay this is the output of the particular named parameters and next uh, null so this is the null uh, null is uh, in the form of this uh, question mark so these two question marks right so this is uh, represents the null dot okay so null dot is nothing but it will print the exact output okay there is be no change in that so it will print as it is so dot null dot dot so you saw the output 3 okay next uh, null 2 dot dot so same as it is but uh, we changed the format okay here we given the direct print value in this and uh, next number we already saw this uh, variable number in the first program right this is another type of a program so variable number if you execute you will get uh, the number one next uh, parameters so this is the parameter okay first of all here he uh, we given a uh, total five integer values a b c b and e so integer a value is separate and b c d e are in some set i mean uh, up in one place now first of all if b is equal to is not equal to null 
we have to add a plus b and after a plus b we have to add plus c after plus c we have to add plus d after plus d we have to add plus e so we have given uh, some numbers here 1 2 4 1 2 3 4 5 okay we can add uh, here not only 1 2 4 we can add also 7 okay now i am going to save it and uh, now i am going to execute this so we will we'll get the output so dot space parameters dot dot so you can see the output 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 7 okay you got 14 and 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 is 15 i think you got the point right this is a program related to parameter this is parameter concept next is sets in the dot so sets you may uh, you know uh, how what are the sets and how in which format the set is being uh, in is be so and inside the set we have placed the string values you know you also can guess the output so all will come in the set together so sets dot dot so fluorine chlorine bromine iodine and astatine okay these are uh, the values uh, string values which are given in this uh, sets next is sets two if you want to uh, print the empty set then you have to uh, follow this type of format for the code so variable names is equal to string and uh, set okay empty set to do that uh, simply type uh, terminal and dot space sets to dot dot okay you got an empty set okay if there is any error if uh, suppose i remove the semicolon you will get here the problem is one so you can uh, see this problem so where the problem is being occurred so everything will be uh, shown here okay uh, so after putting the semicolon the error is being known. so you can also uh, get the errors what are the errors and where the errors are being next uh, string dot so these are the string values which are given as s1 s2 s3 and s4 these are the strings okay so we have to print these strings in an order so for print this we have to go to the new terminal and uh, just simply dot space string dot dot now what is the output so we have all, uh, all the string values are being uh, printed here. Okay, this is a syntax or this is an example or concept of strings in the dot. Next string two. So see, it will be some quite interesting uh, program. So I have given uh, where S1 is equal to hello, good and morning. So I given three types of strings separately and assert. So if uh, S1 should be equal to hello, good morning. And in where uh, where s2, I given operator plus. I mean, I have uh, added all the operators which I have all the strings which I have given in the s1. Okay, then what will be the output will occur? Now to do that, uh, simply press on new terminal and dot string two dot dot. Okay. Now hello, good morning. So if you want space between the good and morning, just simply here, you are able to see the cursor, right? Just simply give a space. If you want more space, you can give another space. Now save. And again, no need to create new terminal because uh, you have changed the error in the same program and you are going to execute in the same terminal. If you have created a new program and you want to execute in the same terminal, then it will be not possible, okay? Now dot space string two dot dot so now we can uh, see the good and morning uh, space is being occurred between them okay this is the uh, this is the format uh, to do this one and next of where so to describe this we have also done this in basic dot dot right so here you can see the var number is equal to 07 so same concept is going to run here. So where here we are going to print the name. In basic dot dot we have printed the number called 07, but here we are going to print the name. So it will be output is same, but there will be slight change between the number and the name. Okay. Now dot space where dot dot. So we have printed the Bob. Okay. So this is the following. Okay. Mm, this is the format. 
And coming to the dot, there are some samples in programs and everything. So once we refer to the dot programming docs, okay, coming to the uh, and going to docs. First of all, this is the dot documentation. So there are some language samples. So once we click on the language samples, after clicking language samples, this is the hello world basic program, void main print hello world. Okay. So these are the variables, okay? So these are the variables. You can also try to execute these programs. I have already discussed this variable type concept in uh, code execution. You, uh, you can try these uh, executions in VS Code. Next, uh, there are refundable statements, conditions, control flow statements. So if here is uh, not uh, 2001, then print 21st century. These are uh, refundable conditions are also there. You can also try this. Next functions, Fibonacci functions, etc. Next uh, comments. So here you can see single line comments. I mean, um, comments are been like this uh, in this dot usually. So comments are being used in this format. So next uh, import. So import. I think uh, Java and C. Uh, I mean not in C. Java import uh, util packages. Import or uh, swing. So we have import packages. Like these are the packages or uh, libraries where everything data will be stored in this package or libraries. So with this, we can execute the programs. So these are some uh, packages where import dot math package test slash test dot dot. So path to my other files. These are some import uh, API functions. So next, we can also see some classes, right? So we have also discussed, uh, you may overcome this in uh, Java or OOPS concepts, right? classes method overloading so method overloading is also one of the part uh, in the flutter so widget overloading will be being used there so next enums so next enums enums planet type terrestrial gas this is one sample program you can execute this inheritance inheritance is also uh, is a topic from the oops and it is also being obtained in, the, in uh, dark program language you can also execute this and uh, interfaces and abstract classes. So I think we have already discussed uh, in the widgets, right? I think. So this, uh, this is one of the widget. Okay. Next uh, exceptions. So this is the one. And coming to the list of uh, language cheat sheets in uh, Dart. Okay. First of all, string. I already mentioned you. Uh, use. Okay. Wait a minute. String interpolation. So use string. Uh, dollar signature and in bracket uh, this uh, expression so then it being counted as a string value so i have already told you uh, named parameters i think so right yeah here you can see the format right dollar symbol and uh, sets and inside the set it consists of the middle name so it is uh, considered as a string okay so that is the format for the string interpolation okay and coming to null variables so i already told uh, this question mark and uh, it is uh, null null variable comes under null variables okay next null aware operators so these are null aware operators i uh, have already executed this in uh, vs code uh, now before so this is uh, with the double question question marks next uh, collection libraries i also executed this collection libraries right final list of strings one two three uh, coming to vs code on the collection dot so this is the program which we have been executed now okay i think you have an idea on the output okay next uh, these type of programs uh, you try once okay you can make get uh, some idea next arrow syntax next cascades uh, my object sample method these are Next, uh, coming to getter and setter methods. These are class properties, uh, class, my class. This comes under class properties. And we are going to discuss uh, these getters and getters and everything in uh, further sessions. Okay. Next, optimal positional parameters. So parameters, in, under parameters, we have uh, executed this program in sum up to five. This program which we have been executed, right? Uh, sum of uh, up to five. Okay, we, here uh, he given only one and two. We added up to 14, right? Uh, we got some up to 14. Okay, so these programs are also uh, once tried in your PC or laptop. 
next named parameters so i have discussed right this uh, dollar symbol and uh, set in middle name okay this is considered as string this is named parameters and next exceptions so exceptions try on exception catch so this is uh, known as exceptions next uh, constructors class my color integer identity green these are all being uh, used in uh, flutter because their classes are being created right so next uh, initializer lists next uh, named factories so these are named constructors these are all the uh, classes so okay constructor classes okay constructors these are all okay these are all being uh, discussed in further sessions like uh, flutter okay so this is the language cheat sheet of the uh, dart so for the next session of the dart make sure to install uh, come to the flutter box and click here on getting started now for the next session so install uh, if it's windows then it install the windows uh, windows version so please install uh, the stable zip and place it in a particular folder uh, is called c and after downloading unzip the file and uh, create a folder and upload that uh, flutter folder into that after unzipping the file you should not uh, change the uh, directory or the place where you have been uh, pasted right the file place or some location address is there now it should not be changed okay it should be stable at a same place okay make sure uh, to install this flutter for the next session and also install the vs code and install the extensions both the dart and the flutter so because uh, without installing those dart and flutter you cannot execute the programs of the flutter not only flutter you cannot also execute the dart okay so this is the main concept of the dart programming language so in next session is on 13th uh, on flutter building a first project on building a first app so for that you have to uh, create uh, this flutter we have to install this flutter requirements and after installing the flutter requirements we are going to discuss how to run that and uh, what is the process and everything so this is the session of the small introduction about the dart and flutter so is there any questions any doubts Is there any doubts?